Hello and welcome to Papa Sue Creative. Today I'm going to take a JPEG image. You can use any image. This happens to be a photograph and manually trace it when auto trace within Inkscape doesn't work well because of background noise or whatever. This is a simple example and you really only need to be familiar with nodes and layers in order to do this so even a novice can do it with some basic instruction so what I did was I put the JPEG image as a bottom layer in Inkscape and I locked it so basically that's fixed in place and nothing can do anything to it then I made a top layer which will be our tracing paper. I'm going to use the Bezier tool, the one right under the pencil, and I'm just going to click and click and click and click, click. We have a benefit here of very straight lines. If you're dealing with something that's more rounded you'll need more clicks but try to keep it as few as possible now you can see I missed it a little bit so I'm going to go to the node tool and get right there on the line and I'm just going to drag that line out until everything pretty much lines up that's good enough for this select the object that I just drew that is a path you don't need to do anything else to it uh, that should work just fine. Now we're going to do the next piece. This piece, because it's going to be under that tr triangle shape piece, when I cut it, I want a little slop room so I have room to put it underneath it when I assemble the piece. So I'm just going to do that and that and that. Drag that off. Now the last piece is this one and since I don't need these poles right now I just want a rectangle shape to work with so I'm going to start there go down here across up and I've got that piece bring it over it's a little bit wonky so you can straighten it up it'll be fine for what we're doing today I'm going to select I'm going to move everything together so I can make a mat because I know eventually I'm going to want to put this on a mat background Put them all together, select them all, duplicate it, drag it over here out of the way, and do a path union. You see where my triangle didn't quite cover it over? Back to the node tool and delete those nodes. You can even delete this one if you want while you're right there. I'm going to fill that with black. Then I'm going to do a couple of path outsets. For this particular thing, I'm using outset instead of dynamic outset. Since dynamic outset send, tends to sort of round things, and in this particular instance, I just want them to be just the same so I'm going to do three path outsets now go back to the bird hat to the original let's give it some color so we'll be able to tell what we're doing I'm just going to pick some colors here for demonstration purposes not very pretty but they're bright so there's my three pieces I'm going to bring this over 
send that to the bottom. Not too bad. So there's the basic birdhouse. Uh, it's all put together. I've got three nice pieces that we'll cut and eventually this is what I did. I took those three pieces and I created this birdhouse. I added a triangle in here. I added the uh, oval for the entrance. I put a little fancy swirl on it and I did eventually go back and redo the poles. All of these files will be available on my blog uh, for you to practice with or to use if you're not quite up to doing it yourself. I hope this has been useful and that you now know how you can manually trace things that defy auto trace. Thanks for being here. Bye.